Here's some interesting news. A potential breakthrough in the fight against cancer. An FDA panel has recommended a promising new gene-altering treatment from Novartis. The treatment lasts about three weeks, costs $500,000. It's a treatment for leukemia. Joining us now, Dr. Mark Siegel. Okay, I, I understand that it's promising, but I want you to tell our audience, what is this gene therapy? How does it work? The first thing our audience needs to understand is how immunotherapy works. Stuart, cancer hides from our immune system. Our immune system is used to fighting bacteria and viruses. Cancer hides from it so that our immune system, our white blood cells, don't know that it's foreign, don't know that it's bad, don't know that if it don't get us, if we don't get it, it's going to get us. Okay. So that's what immunotherapy is. What's new here is that we're taking our immune cells, Novartis's, out of our body and engineering them genetically to recognize a protein on the surface of that cancer, in this case, leukemia. And these are our best killer cells, actually, our best white blood cells for killing things. Our best protection of all, put it back into the bloodstream, it goes zooming for the protein on that cancer cell and wipes it out. It's a war in the bloodstream. This is a huge step in the right direction. And it is the first use of gene therapy treatment. It's the first okay for that kind of treatment. Is that correct? First time we've used gene therapy treatment for this kind of thing, this immunotherapy I'm talking about. Now, the only downside, and they put 82% of patients into remission with this. We're talking about a lot of children, too, that get this kind of leukemia. Oh. ALL, acute lymphoc lymphocytic leukemia, 80, most of them are, are young children, young adults. 82% were put in remission for over six months. The only downside is you get a flu-like symptoms, there's some rejection that's gone on, so it's not 100% tolerated. But if you're facing a death sentence, this is an amazing, amazing breakthrough. Is it an opening up of a whole new form of very, very advanced uh, technological medicine? which really offers significant opportunity in the future. Is it that big? It is that big because before this, we introduced drugs that went for those proteins. Right. Yep. Now we're actually engineering our own immune system to do it. Genetic engineering. We've been talking about this for a decade already. You know, ever since we unpacked the genome and we figured out our own genetics, we were saying, what are we going to do about it? Now we're using it to modify our cells. This is a huge breakthrough. There'll well, be many treatments like this. Can you see the day coming when newborns will have some of their genetic material taken out of them, re-engineered, doctored against all kinds of illnesses, and stuck back into the newborn. Is, that, is this beyond the bounds of possibility? It's funny that you would say that, and it shows just how smart you are. Because you know, <laughs> you know where we get most of these cells from? Cord blood from mm. umbilical cord blood. It's a great place to harvest the kind of cells you're talking about. So yes, when you're born, they're going to take your umbilical cord and they're going to harvest it for these cells, make genetic treatments out of it, put it back in when you need it. This is now, the world of the future. This Novartis treatment takes three weeks, 22 days I think it That's is. That's right. Costs a half million dollars. I presume that the half million dollar price tag will come down if it's generally accepted in society? Yes, but the problem is, and this is something else we've talked about when we've talked about health reform, I don't want to change subjects here, but the problem is these are individualized treatments. So it's going to be difficult ah. to figure out how to get insurance to cover it if everybody's cells are different than everybody else's. It's not a standard treatment. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm hoping yep. insurance will cover this, especially yeah, if it's but, a, but, but we don't know. But we, yeah, okay. It's going to be expensive. If it works for a whole group of people, the price will come down. And if they, they have different companies making it besides Novartis, the price will come down. Now, F, the FDA panel gave unanimous approval to the Novartis treatment. How soon before this is available on a much broader scale? Well, with them giving approval, the approval it's going to be within six months that this will be on the market for sure. And, and, and the current FDA, as you know, is focusing on this whole idea of speeding through approvals just like this. So I expect this to be in the doctor's office within the next few months. I think of Novartis as a drug company. Is it now abandoning the whole idea of drugs and going in favor of genetic engineering? I, I, I don't know the company well, that well. Novartis is on the cutting edge of a lot of things like this. It's very involved in academia as well. We're looking, looking for more of a partnership between academia and drug company research like this. I'm not surprised that this is Novartis, but it's not only Novartis. More and more we're seeing this. More and more we're seeing pharmaceutical companies partnering with universities. A lot of the research here was done at, at MD Anderson, which, as you know, one of the top cancer centers in the country. So the drug companies may discover the drug, then they have to try it out in academic centers. You know, I'm fascinated by it because in my lifetime, I've seen the arrival of genetic engineering 
and we're about to see gene therapy explode onto the scene. And it really does sound like it's an extraordinary opportunity. It's going to save lives. It's going to save lives. This is a terrible disease. And it's not only leukemia, by the way. It's going to be expanded to uses with lymphoma, with melanoma. So you, you, you're going to see it in several different kinds of cancers, maybe even solid tumors. That's fascinating. Doc Siegel, thank this you very much. This is a great day for cancer treatment. Uh, it, it is. It really, it's a breakthrough. I'm trying to get that out to everybody. It's a Usually breakthrough. important change in how we approach treating cancer. Thank you, Dr. Siegel. All good, good stuff. Thank you, sir.